Now back to that story on that lake in Manatee County that we were having some technical difficulties with. It has been it was taken over by vegetation and ABC 7's Rick Adams shows us what it looks like now after a major transfer transformation has taken place. Well, what a difference a few months makes. Just recently, this lake was overcome with water lettuce. Today, it's a whole other story. When we first brought you the story on Conservatory Lake back in November, this is what it looked like. It was completely covered with an invasive species of an aquatic plant called water lettuce. Now, it's back to the way it's supposed to be. It was amazing how how fast it was and how beautiful our lake is. We've got it back. Manatee County officials say because the county is stretched so thin in their parks division, they hired an outside company to get rid of the water lettuce for a minimal cost. It's a process that took several weeks. We do use herbicides that are that are um, labeled um, by the EPA for these settings. Uh, in this case, an herbicide was applied uh, to the water lettuce to, to gain control of it. Michael Ellswick tells us no wildlife was harmed in the process. Frank Decker and his wife live near Conservatory Park. They say they are thrilled to have their lake back. I hated to see the way that it, you know, had deteriorated. So it means a lot, you know, not only to my wife and myself, but to to everybody in the community. Manatee County officials say they will stay on top of this and have the lake treated frequently. So something like this never happens again. And if you're having any issues with water lettuce in your lake or pond, you're being asked to contact your local University of Florida IFAS facility. Reporting from Conservatory Park in Manatee County, I'm Rick Adams, ABC7, your Suncoast News. Okay, thank you so much, Rick.